Hello, everybody. Hey, welcome to the show. There is swearing in it. Hey, there's quite a great deal of swearing in it. I just, I swear all the time, and it's this year's trick. I don't care. If you don't like it, fuck off. I'm not actually asking you to like it, but don't sort of uh, sit through the whole show and then tell me it annoyed you. Fuck off now. <laughs> and if you're a journalist, fuck off anyway. Yeah. <laughs> there is swearing. And it's, it's quite a great deal, as I told you. But it's this kind of angry swearing. <laughs> you know, it's not just gratuitous fucking and blinding. It's angry as a fuck off kind of swearing, you know. People say, ha ha! You don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't actually go, ha ha. They really go, ha! You're only doing that because of a lack in your own vocabulary. But this is nonsense. You show me the English equivalent for fuck off and I'll happily use it. <laughs> it certainly isn't go away. <laughs> go away, exclamation mark. <laughs> go away. Eh, eh. It doesn't have the same balls, does it? Fuck off! Ooh. And fuck off is so international, you know. Could you open your bag? Fuck off. Oh, what? <laughs> I love it, that double thing. <laughs> fuck off. <sighs> and they all understand, no matter where you are, are you? Fuck off. You. <laughs> and it's the atmosphere, that's why you never read. Fuck off, he hinted. Because <laughs> it, it, it... Right. It, it creates its own atmosphere, doesn't it? And it's that. I love it. And nobody knows where it all came from, where those words came from. And I think it was St. Paul on the road to Damascus. <laughs> Fuck it, hell! Who was that? Well, what do you think he said? Gosh! Oh, cripes! Well, Fuck! What the fuck was that? Hey, what's your game? Eh? Did you have to barbecue my fucking donkey? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you strike a hard <laughs> See? <laughs> so that's basically where I think it all comes from. There are people who should and the people who shouldn't. Among those, who, never mind the ones who shouldn't. The people who should, the Pope is top of the list. He should swear. I bet he feels like swearing, kissing all those runways, right? Kind of like tire marks across it. Have you ever seen this fucking place? Right? Maybe he says it in Latin and nobody knows. Why really sweet this floor room, right? So that's roughly where it's... Now, weathermen, I've always felt, should swear. Like this summer in particular, the weather people on the telly, you know, there was a terrible job. If it was pelting every day, right? And they go out and they tell you about isobars and depressions. So, you know, see, I was talking to Wincy Willis on the breakfast. I said, why don't you lie? Why do you insist on telling these people the truth? They know it's pissing rain. <laughs> they don't need you to fucking tell them every day. They only want to see your lip gloss and your tits. If they actually wanted to know the weather, they'd look out the fucking window. <laughs> Tell them it's a sculpture. Because you're the buffer between the muesli and the outdoor world, you know. Say fucking roaster out there. I'm just then I came here on my bike with a short son. Oh, good over there. They're going to know it's pissing when they go out. You know what I mean? I think there's times when you should lie. You should lie a great deal. So, the weathermen, they were coming on and telling you, oh, you, know, so you can see the depression over Norway here. They, may, they should just come on and go, fuck it. Because <laughs> if you're up there in Aberdeen on holiday or something, you know it's rotten. Aberdeen's just a rotten place. It's a smashing town, but it's always fucking freezing and pelting. That's the North Sea. I mean, it looks like the seaside when you're on the bus or the aeroplane. You say, God, that's a nice beach. Oh, you get down there. Jesus! The polar bears running about, stealing people's scarves and running away. Oh, come back, you bastard! It's, 
I was there on holiday as a boy. I'll never, that's when I learned that Aberdeen is Gaelic for hypothermia. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is the North Sea. I mean, that comes right, that's the Arctic Ocean with a different name. It just, it just changes its name as it goes further south. Oh, we'll call it the North Sea. If we call it the Arctic Ocean, no fucker will come here. Okay, I'll give it North Sea, that'll do you. They're now calling it the Gallic Sea or something since the oil came, but given it North Sea. North Sea, I was there on holiday. So a bunch of my pals are all in sleeping bags and things on the beach. Oh, fucking Jesus, what are we doing here? I said, come on! Like, I was always that kind of guy, you know. Hey, come on, let's have a swim! <laughs> well, and it was those days when I was a young boy, about 14, that was the, the woolly swimming costumes were their age. It's kind of woolly. <laughs> <laughs> Big thick woolly jobs. The pocket on it. Right? <laughs> it's wee pocket. We'd hold about sixpence, you know. And a white belt at the buckle, a kind of ring thing I could never get together, you know. <laughs> they, were really, <laughs> they were really unfortunate kind of swimming trunks. When you'd been in the water, they expanded. <laughs> What a big nappy! <laughs> it's sort of swung like that when you can. People could look in the side and see your willy. Oh, so... <laughs> see the <wee> willy. <laughs> Not see. <laughs> your bollocks go fuck that. Yeah. It's about half a walnut, you know. It was terrible. You see, you go to the Caribbean, or the Mediterranean, you see these people walking around, all these huge willies. Oh. <laughs> they wear those silky swimming trunks. <laughs> Things like a baby's arm hanging out a pram. <laughs> it's the heat, you see. The heat gives it a wee touch up, a wee expandy poo. The warm water, lickety lickety, oh, <laughs> things fucking enormous. <laughs> you go in the North Sea, whoop! <laughs> this is the truth. We're an unfashionable race, the Scots. You see, now you here in England, you're white, we're pale blue. <laughs> it takes us a week to get white, a week of sunbathing. <laughs> Like a fucking ordnance survey map. <laughs> People keep reading your chest to find the M1. What you doing? It's unreal. It's, it's not easy. See, I was in the Caribbean once, because I'm a very wealthy person. I go quite a lot. <laughs> I was doing that skin diving. Look, and then I, like an idiot, I came back and I went to see Jaws. It was never the same. You know, I was skin diving like that afterwards. <laughs> Turning around, you know, going like this. And all these wee fish that I was quite happy with before, they would go, go fuck, what do they know? What have they heard? <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> it spoiled the whole thing. And one day I was lying on the surface, just going along looking at things, feeling great with my snorkel. And I looked up to see if the land was still there. You know, I'm a bit of a windbag, you know. You know <laughs> we haven't drifted out to sea. <laughs> And if for some reason I looked back and there was a bloody black triangular fin about six feet away, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I come out of the water. There are two things in the water that really motivate me. One is sharks, the other one's toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> the Markham experience. Oh, for <laughs> A man eating Delsey. Oh. For this fin, I went, ah! I swam right up the beach. I nearly got knocked down with a bus on the main road. <laughs> it was my own flipper. <laughs> you must watch for that if you're ever on holiday. It's a real heart stopper. 